Welcome on board the Mary Fisher 645. This is a 2014 example that I'm going to show you. These are a really versatile boat. If you're looking for a boat that you can go out and launch off a trailer, go fishing, go out with the family, pull skis and wakeboards and toys behind you and just generally have a good, good, good weekend on board and then if you want to you could sleep on board and have some basic facilities these tick the boxes and that's why they are so popular. We sell dozens of these and as soon as they come up on brokerage they are really, really well accepted. So I'll show you around this one, it's 2014. She's got a Honda 115 four stroke engine on the back. It goes really well and I'll show you around the inside first then we'll head out into the aft cockpit, show you around the outside and just have a little chat about what she's got and what she offers. Come with me. So we're stood here looking through the companion way doors. These are sliding patio doors, which open to three quarter width to give you lovely access into the boat. Now, the first thing that will strike you about this boat is she's got a dinette. What a fantastic idea. You can sit easily four people, maybe six at a push around. And the added benefit that that table drops these cushions go inside and it becomes a double berth. Brilliant. And then opposite that, you've got the galley and the helm station. I will start with the galley. So Geno have done something very clever here. We've got a sink, a removable surface for your little single gas hob. So you can make a cup of tea or fry up a bacon sandwich. Storage underneath hand pump tap and storage behind and then oh the helm seat why is the helm seat there that's a bit of an intrusion so let's hinge it out the way brilliant what a good idea so you've got a full working surface draining board here into your sink you've just pretty much doubled the size of your cali in one move because let's face it if you're sat here and you're making a cup of tea or you're doing the washing up you're not going to be going along so i think that is a fantastic idea you have storage underneath and whilst we are on storage we also have storage beneath the floor now as with geno any genos build quality is absolutely 10 out of 10. good thick fiberglass Nice finishes, you know, beautiful steering wheel, nice woodwork, nice trim. Um, upholstery is lovely to feel and nice and hard wearing. It's all stitched, Geno. Uh, look at their fixings, good, strong, high quality stainless steel. This is what you pay for with a Geno. Build quality, they are fantastic. Great build quality, great sea keeping and innovative for example. So let's just move forward there. You've got a lovely helm seat with the flip up bolster. So standing position and seating position, I'm sure you're all familiar with. We have traditional Honda controls, etc., and the helm itself. So you've got the lovely wood trim steering wheel. This particular boat has got Raymarine packet on board, engine controls and visibility. Now something else I absolutely love about these Mary Fishers is the visibility. I'm just going to do a 360 here. Bear in mind this boat is on a trailer in a boatyard, but you imagine you're on the water, you can see everything, 360 degrees. From the helm, you've got nice cubbies here to put the bits and bobs and your drink. Compass over there, grab rails, and passenger seating. Yes, passenger seating. So your passengers can sit there and still see out the windscreen whilst you're going along and they've got a grab rail to hang on to if they need to. While we are here, let's look at this. We've got a forward V-berth, 
So this will either act as two single berths, almost as it's set up now, or as a double berth. So this piece is removable, but underneath there, you have your porta potty. So I've left that in, uh, but you can take that out and you don't have to carry a porta potty if you don't want to, but it is quite nice if you're going away for a full day or a weekend. There's another infill piece which will go here to the end of these wooden rails and that turns it into a monstrous double bed. So if you're going to weekend in this boat, you've got loads and loads of space. So you'd sleep two there and you could sleep two here. Yeah, it would be a bit cramped, but it's perfectly doable. Shelf storage all the way around. And again, with Geno, really high quality fabrics, hard wearing. We've got um, stereo, CD player, Bluetooth. And let's spin around. We've got side opening windows, both sides, both sides. And above us, which is actually covered at the moment, we've got a sunroof. See, sliding sunroof. So on a day like today, out on the water, that would be lovely to have open. So moving aft, we've got a really generous sized cockpit. You could seat a lot of people around there. And a centre table on a leg. Why is there a cushion on the table? Very good question. You can remove that table, insert it down here, and turn that into a sunbed. So you can sunbathe on the back of the boat. Good idea, isn't it? So you've got full seating, all these cushions are removable. And then off the stern, you have the outboard engine, auxiliary engine, and access ladder here. Grab rails both sides, with little nets to put your bits and bobs. And again, with anything Geno, the fabrics are high quality. Everything is high quality, high quality stainless steel. See, there's the tail end of that sunroof. Everything is thick, chunky, well-made. You're paying for that quality with a Geno. Um, what else do we have? Beneath here is the fuel tank and storage. I'll just get a, a snippet of that for you when I take all this down. As I say, all this is removable, so I'll put all this away and show you with, with no cushions out here. And what they do that, A, so you can keep your cushions in good condition, but B, because if you are out with your friends or family and you want to go fishing for the day rather than sunbathing and, and socializing on the back of the boat, you don't have to put the cushions out. So when you get fish scales and uh, everything else that goes with it all over the back of the boat, you just wash it all down. Wash it all down and she's done and back to normal. So that's why everything is removable and why this is such a multi-purpose boat. I will, that pretty much covers everything um, inside and on the back deck of the boat. So I'm gonna put all these cushions away and I'll show you under the floor then just so you can take a peek at the bilges. I'm back, that's all the cushions put away. So you can see now that's a fully washed down area. If you're standing fishing and you get fish scales and fish guts everywhere, just wash it all down and it's gone. Um, interestingly as well, these panels are removable somehow. It's a catch under here, which I can't do one handed. Oh, I can. Oh. I can't do it one handed. Um, there's a catch under there and those slide out. So that comes out and that comes out as well. So that means you can get all the way up to the corner of the boat to stand there with your fishing rods. Um, storage underneath here. And then uh, this section here lifts up, which allows us to lift the floor, like so. So under there, we have a main fuel tank, an auxiliary tank for the auxiliary engine and two batteries with the boat and just bilge access and storage. That concludes the tour of our Mary Fisher 645. I hope you enjoyed it. 
She is for sale on brokerage in Milford Haven. If you'd like some information, I'll put some in, uh, some contact details up here and a link in the description so that you can see her advert and take a look at our other videos because I do full walk around tours of all sorts of different boats so I'll pop some links up here take a little look at the channels see if there's anything else that you're interested in whether you're looking at buying this boat or looking at buying at buying a Mary Fisher 645 or just interested in having a look there's all sorts on there for you so take a little look you might be interested if you are, please do subscribe to us and like and comment on our videos. I'd like to know what you think. I'd like to know if there's anything else you'd like to see or if you'd like me to do something slightly different on my videos. I'm open to all suggestions. Thank you for watching and we will see you in the next one.